Bro, it's so beautiful outside today, man. It's so goddamn beautiful. Man, I gotta clear up some things, man. I gotta clear up some things because a lot of people think I'm doing this because I got a tether on my leg. A lot of people think I'm doing this because I got community service. All that rah rah and all that bull crap, man. No, I don't have community service and I'm not on house arrest. Let me clear that up. I am a real Christian. I'm serving Jesus for the rest of my life. Can't no money, can't no dollar change my opinion. I done already turned down the contract that would have changed my life. Come on, not. I they turned down two contracts that would have changed my life. You know, I've been running away from God for too long. And I just want to say this, man. That is not why I'm doing these videos. I'm not crazy. Um, you know, it's funny that you got to be considered crazy when you turn your life to Jesus. You know, it's always an agenda when Jesus is involved. You know, I see people in the comments manifesting. Joel, your views drop. Joel, you, you ain't popping no more. Hey, man, I don't care. Just like how I destroyed John when I was doing gold digger pranks, I want to uplift y'all. You know, people are telling me to make another channel for this, and I want to put it on this channel. You know, I, I want to I want to show the devil that I'm really fixed on Jesus. You know, views or not, eight thousand views to me is a lot of people hearing the gospel, and hearing the truth. You know, I am going to say this. I got some friends that still do gold digger pranks. I'm not judging you. I'm not condemning you. This mess is not even for you. You know, they might be mad because, you know, it is affecting their bag. It is convicting them because they're doing it. You know, and God got they, God got his timing with them. You know, just like he had his timing with me. But I'm going to say this once again. Gold digger pranks. Open demonic doors, bro. It opens you up to lust. When I was doing gold digger pranks, I wasn't even that far gone when i started doing gold digger pranks i started lusting after all those girls i was have, i was doing videos with man then i started listening to your comments and take the girls home what i do i took the girls home while being married i gotta understand man like i said in all my videos sin stars off sweet it's it's beautiful your flesh love it you know what i'm saying but let me let me tell you this at the end it's nothing there Solomon, he had everything. He said everything was vain. It wasn't worth it. And I was able to say that. I was. I, I spent 1.1 million in a year and I was still lost and I was still searching and searching. That's a lot of money, man. I grew up poor. I had every supercar you could think of. I spent not just one year, two years in a row, 1.1 million dollars. That's a lot of money. Why did I still feel empty? Why did I still cuss up my wife? Why did I say she wasn't worthy? Because I'm doing these gold digger pranks and I'm getting involved with all this secular, you know, stuff that people was putting on me and I just thought I had to be the man. But y'all viewers don't know on the other side, when y'all watching these gold digger pranks, y'all don't know, y'all fantasizing. Now y'all get, you know, that's why I say, that's why I tell y'all it's a doorway because y'all get to fantasizing. Y'all get to trying to be like us and riz people up, not knowing that gold digger pranks ain't even real. You know what I'm saying? They're not real. It's a facade to make it seem like we um we talking to these bad girls and the girls got to be gold diggers. One, it always put an image bad on the girls. We need to uplift, not just our black girls, not every girl. One, I'm going to put it like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it makes the girl look so bad. And then it was a thing. It was a it was a point to where I, we would literally be like, all right, since, since this girl is beautiful and we want to talk to him. And I ain't going to say every dude do this because, like I said, I have a friend. He don't. He's faithful to his wife. You know, and he know he is. If you see this video, shout out to him. That's my homeboy. I grew up with him. You know what I'm saying? Love him to death. You know, and he got his time where he come to Christ and he got to take care of his family. This ain't for you if, when you watch this. This ain't for you at all. I'm just preaching the gospel, you know. And, um, you know, but it was a point in time when I was doing this. And I know some other creators that's doing it where we get a bad girl who we wanted. Find them on IG, but like we want her. Of course, she don't want to be a gold digger. And we'll just be like, look, you're going to be she's not a gold digger because we like you. We want to bring you on the channel more. So we had literally come up with a scheme to get inside their pants. So it's like a manipulation scheme, you know? And 
you know, it, it was just, it's just a messed up business, man. At the end of the day, it's a messed up business. And I'm here just to tell y'all, like, bro, that lifestyle ain't what people think it is, bro. It ain't what they think it is. And it's leading y'all to hell. At the end of the day, I was doing edibles. I, I, I didn't even do weed before. I never smoked before. And I found myself doing all this wicked stuff, bro. Wicked. I kept getting into more and more wicked stuff. And it was to the point where I would try to get right back with my wife and fix our relationship. And these girls would open themselves up to me. All right, my phone was tweaking. I would try to get back with my wife and these girls. I'm talking about to the point where I had like some demonic powers. And I don't want y'all to try this because y'all want to please y'all flush. It wasn't good, bro. Because being in a position to where every girl want to talk to you it sounds good but it started to deteriorate you your life i was literally crying y'all didn't know i'm saying it's not but y'all didn't know i was crying every single night because i love my wife and i'm watching me hurt her and she don't want to leave me and i'm watching my kids and i'm like why am i not there for my kids but y'all probably that's what i'm saying it's a deception but y'all probably looking at me like joy you had all the baddest women i didn't even have to say a word to the girls and they would just flock my way it was like a, it was so weird and I'm telling y'all this, it's vain. It's so bad, bro. It's so bad. And the devil has his way. You know, like I was married. So it might not even work for y'all if y'all tried that way. Y'all might catch an STD. Y'all might catch HIV. Think by the grace of God, you know, I didn't I, I didn't go through that. And by the grace of God, he restored my marriage. But I'm telling you, it's not what y'all think, bro. You know, and I'm just speaking for the gold digger lanes because I was in that lane, bro. I was in that lane. If I was in any other lane, I'd be coming for it because I got to wake y'all up, bro. Stop watching those gold digger pranks, bro. All it is is going to lead y'all to destruction, lust, and womanizing girls, you know, and every girl is not like that. And let me say, and if they is, it's because of the music that make them like that, the agenda to make them want to want to seek the bag, search for the bag, and I don't like these dudes. So, and then like the gold digger pranks is influencing the guys to disrespect the girls and it's teaching the false narrative every girl is a gold digger so you got to do this this way talk to them this way watch this no bro it's all one big agenda whether you know it or not and i didn't know it i grew up in church some people then when i did found out the money was so good to me i'm like dang i can't get this up and that's when i heard god calling me the most i heard the holy spirit calling me and that's when i started feeling weird because i already got convicted and well, let me tell you something when you get convicted that's the worst feeling Knowing that you messing up somebody's life for greed and money, that was what hit me the most. That and knowing that I was hurting my wife. So all that was just hitting me and it was just like, bro, I got to get out of this. This ain't good, you know? And I'm here now to tell y'all like, bro, it ain't what it seemed, bro. That ain't entertainment. People might tell you, Joel, you could do this a form of entertainment. It ain't sexualized. No, bro, it's a lie. It's fake. That ain't good content, bro. It ain't. It's no way around it. I thought it was any. I thought it was. I'm like, bro, I cannot talk sexual. And then, man, it's a lie. You look at the thumbnails. The thumbnails are photoshopped to make the girl bodies look crazy. You know who started that thumbnail? Me. I was the one that found out. First, it was this other creator, but he wasn't predominantly in the black community. I found out my highest videos and I kept doing it then my friends kept doing it we knew what would get views big boobs that's sexualizing it making people oh my god subconscious mind click on the video click through right YouTube pushing it out no bro that's lust you thinking about having sex with the girl before even clicking on the video you thinking about oh my god I want to see her twerk it was a point people been in my videos she got a twerk so i was literally like a slave to y'all i'm like bro all right i'm not lit i had to push the limits bro i had to push the limits and sometimes it would get so bad for me to push the limits i had to do an edible or i had to drink because i had to do certain stuff i didn't want to do i would tell my friend d paul i would even tell my homeboy tktv uh tino like i don't want to do this no more i would tell all my partners frank 313 i would tell them like they don't want to do this no more you know and we had talked, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not trying to, I didn't want to say them names because, you know, 
the thing about me making these videos, you know, a lot of people gonna probably go to his comments or probably go somewhere else and be like, why are you still doing this? And he got his own life to live. You know, this ain't a judgmental. I don't want to judge nobody, but I do want to say what's the truth, you know, but yeah, bro, like, you know, and another, another thing that really made me come to Christ as well, you know, and I used to make fun of him, like, deep Paul, I'm like, bro, he gave up all this, bro, you know, and you know, but I realized what he did was bigger cause. It was a bigger cause. And now I'm doing the same thing he's doing, you know, and I gave up all that for peace, eternal life, you know, and I need more creators. We need more creators to hop on this wave to freaking, um, to freaking just preach the gospel, man. It's a lot of content you can do and serve Jesus, you know, and serve God. You know, I found myself watching Isaiah Salvador every night with my wife, and I'm like, he talking about hell. And I'm like, bro, I used to watch him every night. I grew up in church. I always felt like I was a Christian. I was a fake Christian one. But I was doing these videos, you know. And man, it was just crazy, bro. I was all over the place, bro. I was all over the place. I listened to gospel music. And I'm just like, I'm a Christian because I'm listening to gospel music. I wasn't, you know. I still found my flesh one to have sex with girls. And, you know, I don't get that feeling no more. Like, when I be on IG too long, I got to get off because all on IG is the same. It's just promiscuous. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, I'm here to tell y'all, man, them gold digger pranks ain't good, bro. Find something else to watch. You know, be a good steward with you with y'all time. I'm still working on that. I'm been, I'm, I am mean, you know, getting right with God. I, I be on the game all day. I, you know, don't, I need to be in my word more. So, be a good steward with y'all time because... I could tell y'all, whatever y'all intake, that's what y'all gonna be. Whatever y'all eat, that's what they say. You are what you eat, right? So if you on the gold digger pranks all day, what you gonna be doing? Lusting at the females. Come on now. If you looking at uh, drama or you playing a game, like, that's what you are. You ain't getting in your word. You ain't getting that good food, you know? You know, so I just wanted to uh, upload that. I got to be more active for y'all. And, man, y'all keep fighting that good fight, man. My Christian brothers out there, keep going. For the people that ain't Christians, man, if you want to give your life to Christ, all you have to do is free. It's believe that Jesus died on the cross for y'all sins. And you'll have everlasting life. It ain't going to be easy. I'm not going to say it's going to just be all, you know, sunshine after that. But you'll have everlasting life and you can get around a community of brothers, you know, get in the church and... You know, that help you out. Community is everything. I got my wife. You know, I go to church. And I thank God I know about Isaiah Salvador or these other content creators I watch. You know, and I thank God I have a good discernment to know which ones to watch. I had that discernment since I was living in the world. So make sure y'all watch the right content creators as far as Christians. Because it'd be some people out there that just teach the wrong stuff. You know, so pray to God to get y'all discernment. I'm about to get out of here. And uh, one last thing, man. The thing with the gold digger pranks. The cars. All that y'all want. All that the money, the woman is fame. At the end of all that, I was the biggest number one gold digger catcher. I had the most cars out of everybody. I had the most money. I had it all. It's vain. You're always going to be searching for something. It's vain. You're always going to have to be on a drug. It's vain. Having the most women. It's vain. It's nothing that's going to please you more than Jesus. You're going to always feel empty. You're always going to go soul searching for something else. It's vain. Solomon. He had it all. He was the wisest man in the world. What did he say? It's all vain when it comes down to it. You know... Now you might see a lot of other content creators go to something else. Is they promoting agenda, either knowing or unknowing. Sexualizing the baddest women. I got the baddest girl. Like I said, I'm P. I'm this, I'm that. No. The vain. I've seen it all. I've done it all. And I almost took my life away. I did like a whole pack of edibles. I knew I wasn't going to take my life away, but I was just, because I knew if I did that, I'd go to hell. So I knew it wasn't enough to kill me, but it was just like, bro, I got to escape this. I slept the whole day and I regretted it because you know why? When I woke up and them animals were off, it hit me again. It's not a fairy tale. This is life, real life. It's demons out here to kill you. It's demons out here to get you away from your assignment. 
Thank God he called me. Thank God he kept calling me. The Holy Spirit. And I made that call. Shout out to Isaiah Salvador, that app. I made that call. And, um, the, you know, the preacher, Pastor Govey. I always get his name wrong. But I'm going to just say General Rise Up Church. You know, they answered that call. And shout out to Austin. I got delivered. I found him again off Isaiah Salvador app. My wife, the first time I got delivered. And the second time I got delivered. Shout out to all those three people, man of God, man. They played a huge part of my life of getting really free and doing this journey. Because I, like I said, I got delivered the first time. And the money kept calling me. The second time, I gave it up. All them demons came out of me. The third time, I had enough. I lost my family. You know, so keep fighting that good fight, y'all. I love y'all. Peace. See first the kingdom of God. Remember that.